Building confidence and life skills by being more inclusive. A Haverford Middle School basketball team is switching things up, forming a team mixed with special needs kids and those without. Their coaches are now hoping the concept catches on in other nearby towns and schools, starting their own league. NBC 10's Aaron Baskerville went to a game tonight. Oh, nice, Ian. I like that team. Come on, come on, get the hands out. I love it. I love it. Hands, Ian, hands. There's the excitement of a regular middle school basketball game. When they make a basket, the smile on their face just brightens my day. It makes my whole day. There you go. But if you dig deeper, there's more going on here. It's not always about the outcome or following the game's rules by the letter of the law, but the opportunity. I just wanted to use the sport of basketball to kind of bring kids together. Um, my son has plenty of chances to play on all kinds of teams, and I know there's other kids out there who love basketball, but they just don't have those opportunities. A little more legs. There Coach Mary Kristen Haskell wanted all kids to be able to play, so she formed a unified middle school team in Haverford, one of the few teams of its kind in the area. Kids with special needs on the same squad as those without. For now, they go head to head with teams without disabilities. My name is Connor, and I love playing basketball with this team. It's been a confidence builder for the Dunlavy twins, both nonverbal. Their mother, Rhea Dunlavy, tells NBC10 the team is making a difference outside of the gym. In school, they're getting high fives in the hallway. It's a really inclusive kind of environment, not only here on the, on the basketball court, but it carries out through the community. It's the life changing experience of being on a so called real team for the first time. One, two, three, four. Now it's about building a league, says Haskell, where other towns or schools in the area form unified teams. Is it cool to, to be with, with just all different types of kids? Yeah, and um, it's uh, nice being uh, with your friends. And um, if you don't have your, any friends in basketball, I don't know what I would do without. As their coaches say, it's kids helping other kids succeed in a sport they all love. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News. I love that. Spread the word. Spread it all around. We need more of those teams. So much love there, <laughs> yes. and it fills those kids with so much. Just when we think we've seen the sweetest story, we see something like that. Unbelievable. That was worth waiting for at 1127 at night. Yes. All right.